All right, this video is all about using ChatGPT to compose music with GarageBand or basically any other music software. If you've ever wished you could enjoy the thrill of making original music without years of training, or if you've struggled with music theory or felt overwhelmed by online music tutorials and just want to make something that actually sounds good, then this video's for you. Just as ChatGPT has torn down the barriers to creative writing and coding, it can now tear down the barriers of music theory, arrangement, instrument mastery, and more. I'm excited to introduce a new AI process that shatters the learning curve to making electronic music and empowers you to transform your musical curiosity into loops and songs that'll bring a smile to your face. Even if you've been making music for a while, using ChatGPT as your musical collaborator will open many new doors to your composition process. Here's the piece that I'm going to show you how to make today. possibilities for this are literally endless. With the process and the prompts I'm about to show you, you can make virtually any style of music. Going through this process with me will help you build your AI skills along with some very basic coding skills. You can use this original music in your work in many ways as well. Perhaps you can compose original music for future content marketing, or maybe you can write a theme song for your organization, or maybe different people in your organization. First, I want to show you how to use ChatGPT to create code that produces files that can be used in GarageBand and basically any other piece of software. These are called MIDI files. I use a Google Collab notebook to run this software, but don't worry, I'm not a trained coder, and if you've never coded anything in your life, I'm confident you can get this to work. Quick side note, I have a working version of this Google Collab Notebook. This is the script that creates those files. I have that available to my Patreon subscribers if you don't feel like fussing around with creating the script. I'll put a link to that in the description below. And then next I want to show you how to use ChatGPT to actually create the music that then gets converted into these MIDI files that can be used in GarageBand and any other software. I was shocked to find how well ChatGPT understands music theory and also remembers what it had created previously. So you can ask it to create a simple melody and then build harmonies around that. Everything here is done with free software with the exception of the fact that I think you need a paid version of ChatGPT to use the advanced data analysis features. Make sure before you start that you're in ChatGPT 4 and that the advanced data analysis is turned on. Here's the original chat I had with ChatGPT when I created this script. I started very simply with just, I would like to create a piece of music using MIDI and the style of Bach, can you help me? And it was really cool. It went into all the different things that Bach's music is known for. I picked Bach because he has a machine-like way he composes music, which I thought might work well with ChatGPT, and it really has. So here we talked about the theme, the key. You don't really need to worry about any of this. This was just a back and forth until finally I asked it to just start creating these MIDI files and it can't do that yet. The magic really started here when I said, can you please create a script that I can use with Google Collab to generate MIDI files? So this, if you are jotting anything down, this would be the place to start. Can you create a script that I can use with Google Collab to generate MIDI files? And bam, now we're off to the races. Here's the script, and this works by itself pretty well. You can see it creates a file called F minor theme MIDI. You don't really need to know what any of this is. You just need to know how to copy and paste. I'll walk you through the whole process, but this is what it looks like. We're gonna copy this into a Google Collab. There was still some issues with this where all of the notes were the same length. So I had a little bit more back and forth with it and I said, hey, this is cool, but wouldn't it be great if the note lengths could be varied? Because everything it was creating was just, I think, 16th notes, something like that. You don't need to worry about that. But if you want the notes to be different lengths, which you're going to want, this would be the follow-up. Please adjust this script so it can handle different note lengths. And it updated that script to basically the script that I've been using to create a lot of fun stuff. Again, here's a look at that script. I have this available to all of my Patreon supporters, but this, I think you should get, be able to get something pretty close to this just in uh, a couple prompts there. And next I wanna show you exactly how to use this Google Collab. I have a quick start video on how to use Google Collab and I'll put a link to that in the description as well. But basically all you need to do is, once you've run those two prompts, copy this code, then go to collab.research.google or just search for Google Collab on Google. And you should see something like this. You want to open a new notebook. 
and you should see something like this. Copy that code in. If you're following along, I like to organize this a little bit by taking this little bit of code. This installs the library. Take that out. I put that in its own cell. This just is the actual code. And this is the example data. I like to put this in its own cell as well. All right, and just like that, you have now created some code that can create MIDI files that you can do a lot of fun stuff with. So now let's get back to ChatGPT and set that up. You wanna click these little three dots at the bottom here, go to your custom instructions, and you wanna tell ChatGPT about this code. So what would you like ChatGPT to know about your responses? You say, I use the following script to generate MIDI files. And then you're just copying and pasting from here this part, everything through there, not the outputs. So it knows the script that you're using. Paste that in. And then how would you like ChatGPT to respond? When you're creating melodies and harmonies, please use the following format. So this is critical. Here's the format you want it to respond in. Right here, this cell. This is gonna be the end of what it generates. Just paste that right in here. This is also good. I do not need you to offer to create MIDI files. This output is best because it will try to create MIDI files, which it can't do, and it gets stuck in a loop and doesn't work right. <laughs> Click Save. Now you're ready to start creating some music. At first, I'd like to ask it just a little question here about electronic music so it starts to understand what electronic music is all about. So it's telling us that minor scales are great for electronic music songs and it's outlining other ideas here. All right, now that it has this in its memory, I'm gonna ask it, awesome, can you please create a short looping synth part that will serve as the starting point of this song? Can you do it in the key of A minor? So I think many people will like the way that the minor keys sound more than the major keys. So that's one thing, even if you know no music theory, just ask it to create something in a minor key. Let's see what happens. We'll copy that code and now we are opening up the Google Collab notebook here that we have created. And I'm gonna copy, I'm actually gonna start create a new cell here. This is the example of our output. I don't wanna overwrite that. And I'm gonna drop this in. You can see that this looks fairly similar to this. What we really need is this line here. So that's the line that actually converts this information into a MIDI file and we need to make sure that this matches this. So just copy and paste this name of this list here into this MIDI file name. Go back to the top and we're gonna run all these cells. This first one will just install the Mido library here. We're gonna run the second one. This will just run the script that we've created. I'm gonna skip this one. This is just an example and I'm going to run this, and you will see here now on the left side that a MIDI file should be created. You might need to hit this refresh button. There's our synth loop. I'm gonna click on these three little dots. I'm gonna download that file. Now we're gonna go into GarageBand. We've opened a new empty project, and we wanna select a new software instrument. Create that, close this. I'm gonna pick a synthesizer here, a lead, analog mono lead, I don't know. I'm fairly new to GarageBand, I use Ableton mainly. We'll pull this in and we'll see what we might have here. Okay, let's listen. Nice. Okay, so let's see if we can loop that bad boy by pulling this back. And we got the loop function going. All right, let's go back to ChatGPT. We're gonna say, great, can you now create a counter melody to this one that harmonizes with it in interesting ways? Copy that, pull this back into our Google Collab. I'm gonna copy over that synth loop, paste this in. We don't need any of this either. We need to copy this counter melody. Again, copy over here and copy over here. We're just, all we need to run is this cell now since everything's already been loaded in. We just run this, refresh here. We see our counter melody show up. We download this file, see it on our desktop here. Now let's create a new track, a new software instrument, create. I'm gonna get a different kind of a synthesizer here. I like these lead sounds. Let's try 
Uh, I don't know, Autumn Haze. It's an autumn day today. We'll get Autumn Haze going. These are all free. All should come with Garage Band. Let's pull this in. We don't want to have that. Look at this. So now we'll play. What I like to do is we'll copy this, paste it, and then we'll pull this one over and we will loop the two of them. So you'll hear what we created first and then you'll hear our new piece. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> All right, now we need a baseline. Let's get a baseline going here in ChatGPT. These are great. Can you create a baseline using longer half notes? Let's copy that in, go back to our sheet here paste this in we have to update these run this refresh here there's our baseline download the baseline it shows up on our desktop there we're going to add a new track, a new software instrument track. We're going to make this a bass. I don't know what would be best here. I think maybe there's a synthesizer bass. Yeah, synthesizer bass. Let's do a big saw bass. And we'll pull this bass line in and we'll copy all of this. We'll extend our loop here. Let's see if we can get some drums going. Add a new track, add a drummer now. So this gave us a drummer. Now I'm gonna copy the bass line, put that in a couple times. See if we can copy both of these right here. See what we got here. Let's take this from the top. Electronic music dance song brought to you by ChatGPT. And some other cool ideas as you're moving along here. I've found that you can use this to create accompaniments to songs you already have. So this prompt could be pretty cool to try out. The chords for my new song are C, A minor, G, F. Can you create a bass line for this with lots of movement? It's key to ask it to do lots of movement. Sometimes it'll just create scales and you got to just nudge it to create some interesting stuff. Also, when you're listening back, if the notes sound weird, just drag them up or down until it sounds right. This is similar to working with ChatGPT as far as editing it when you're writing so make sure to play around with it and use some of your human instincts as well all right i hope you enjoyed this i had a blast making this stuff definitely hit me up with any questions in the comments remember i have a working version of that collab notebook available to my patreon supporters if you want to just grab that i also have a cheat sheet version of this video that goes through everything links to my chat string and also has a lot of ideas of different prompts and different ways that you can nudge ChatGPT to creating something pretty cool. Just some ideas about melodic terms, rhythmic terms that might be fun to use in your future prompts. So thanks a ton for watching and make sure to subscribe. I'm going to be doing a lot more on this. And please give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment and I'll see you on the next video.